Hello, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm delighted to be joined by Mr. Liam Keane, Wolverhampton Wanderers reporter for the Express and Star. It's a new season. It's a new pre-season. We're in Portugal, baby. How are we looking? It's, a, it's freezing. Oh, it's I mean, a little bit cold. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit. Where's the umbrella? <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? It's lovely. Oh, I thought I'd bang out the shirt. What do you reckon? Um, the audacity of yeah. the man to You're talking about in, in Benidorm last year to You're talking about slag off my shirts. Your shirts were horrendous. This is this is an ode to your horrific wardrobe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's quite similar to something I would wear. What would, you, um, what would you go for if you were choosing? Cornetto, the back as well. Mm, Cornetto or Magnum, I think. Maybe really? Cornetto. Uh, it, it's diabolical, mate. I'll be honest with you. If I was going old school, I'd go Feast from a Feast bar. Feast, and, yeah, Feast could be You nibble fair. around the around outside. The edge, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the hard chocolate in the middle. Leave it for. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we're back straight onto the straight onto the videos. Right, pre-season tour. We're here. Is it? Yes. Look at look. We're not in South Korea though. No, which is a shame. It is a shame. Big we, shame. We can't complain. We're, we're going to make the best of, uh, the best of it. And uh, six days. We're going to be in Portugal. We're going to be in Ireland. Yes. We flew in today. We were up at what time? Well, I was up at three. Three. You, you were three thirty. I was three thirty. We, we made we made the uh, we made the flight just about. And uh, look, it's it's going to be an interesting week. Things have been a bit slow. Yes. And you get the sense that things are starting to snowball very, very quickly now. It's outgoings, it's outgoings, it's outgoings. The fans aren't happy. However, you can look at it two ways, can't you? Um, Raul Jimenez, of course, been the, the big name so far and then with, with the news breaking yesterday. Daniel Pudence, Ryan Giles look like they could be out the door. Johnny soon. Um, you know, Tony Roberts is out the door, you know, so it's, it's, it's really interesting. What do you make of it? Um, like you say, it's going to be a week or the next two weeks, things are really starting to shape, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, take you back a few months to my story talking about FFP and, and sort of revealing the problems the Wolves had uh, going into this summer, purely because they've overspent in the last two windows, um, <laughs> January being overspending because they had to save the season. Yeah. And we always knew from my reporting and it backed up by other you know, credible journalists as well that Wolves had to sell going into this window before they could bring in series incomings and they need to make a profit. Um, we can, I mean, Matt Hobbs, for the first time, actually, as far as I'm aware, first time, uh, quoted to say we need to make a profit. He's always said we need to you know, have a low net spend, be creative, but he's, he says, yeah. said for the first time we need to make a profit recently in, in the announcement for, for some news recently. And, and look, Wolves had to allow players to move on first before they bring anyone in, and doing it early was always going to allow them to make earlier moves. And unfortunately, some of the moves can't happen early because yeah. they haven't got players at the door. Neves going early was key, really, really important. Uh, the deal overall w was perfect, not going to a Premier League side, going for more money than they expected, getting it done early, all of that was perfect. Yeah. Um, but then they've got these other little deals. Collins has obviously happened eventually going to Brentford. Jimenez, as you say, uh, he's having a medical today. He's over in London doing a, you know, for a 5.5 million deal. Pedence not brought here to Portugal, likely to go. You know, Betis were, were interested. Giles, Luton, Middles were both after him. Luton getting closest, looking at maybe five, four to five million deal there. All these little things add up alongside the big deals and Wolves had to have that before they bring any, anyone in. Look, Wolves are looking in the market of, of loans, of, you know, small transfer fees to be creative, to bring players in. That is the reality they're in. Sure. Aside from, if they can, bring in Alex Scott because they still want to do that deal. Yeah. However, they're going to have to make it work financially. Um, and that could result in someone else going as well. Look, we're, we're going to go into a lot more depth throughout the week, um, you know, in feature articles, in more of these videos, in the podcast that's going to be returning. But there's a lot of people who aren't happy, Liam, mm. with the way things are going. A lot of people worried about the season. Do you feel that that's warranted uh, before they start bringing additions in? Look, for me, this squad needed a clear out. They needed a refresh. This needed to happen at some point. When certain players come in, then I think people will be okay. But uh, before that happens, of course, there's that little bit of, well, how many people are starting? Guys, bring your boots out here. You might get a game tomorrow. <laughs> so, you know, I think so far, the players that are leaving the club, mm. I'm not, apart from obviously Neves, you're not devastated by it. And actually, to be honest, Jimenez, I thought that was a decent deal and probably a decent amount of money as well. Yeah, 100%. Um, two separate points there. One, uh, should the fan, uh, is it warranted the fans are upset? Yeah, I think so. But it also shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone. Yeah. We've been talking about this for months. We knew the Wolves were going to uh, have to be creative and have to sell players before they brought players in. It wasn't going to be big transfer fees. And aside from potentially Scott, if they can make that work, of course. Um, it's no surprise that this is how Wolves are having to, pl are having to play the summer because we we've been reporting this for months. Yeah. However, th there's an argument of, you know, should they be bringing players in earlier? This happens every summer. You know, 
for criticism or not, Wolves are always slower in, in making deals. Mm -hmm. July into August is where the, the market hots up. Remember the squad that Bruno had away at Leeds, the beginning of the last season. Yeah. Um, you know, he had a bench full of kids, yeah. aside from Bolly and uh, and Cody. So uh, it's no surprise that we're here. Should Wolves be in a stronger position come August? Yes, they should if they want to have a, have a decent start to the season. But I, I feel like I'm a bit more confident in Lopetegui than I would have been with Bruno. And, and I think that's the key you say. When you say you're confident with Lopetegui, I think Lopetegui being here and still being here yeah. probably gives a lot of confidence because he will know now, okay, there was obviously some issues at the back end of last season, but the fact that he's saying he's here with the squad, he's been given assurances that there's um, there's a bit of a calmness internally about where they're going. They're confident where they're going, and it's just you know these names and when they do make additions, of course Matt Doherty's come in, but when when there's two, three, four signings in, however long that may take, that squad's going to look a lot better and like, as we said earlier, a lot fresher, which is so needed. The, the, the point I was going to make to your point about just have a bit of a clear out, freshening up the squad a little bit. Um, for the fans' sake, would you like to see one in, one out, two out, one in, you know, a couple of extra additions? Of course you would. Mm -hmm. But this team needed a little bit of a kick up the backside. It yeah. needed a little bit of a refresh. There were players here who have been excellent footballers for Wolves over the years. Him and being one, <laughs> Johnny a player that, you know, is surplus to requirements if they can get a move for him. These are players who've had brilliant careers with Wolves, but it's come to a natural end to the cycle mm. for them. They need to move on. They're moving on in the summer where Wolves are not going to be able to make loads of additions or at least loads of, you know, high value uh, financial additions. But they've got a much better manager now. Will I back Wolves to get through this summer and build beyond that? I would like to think so, particularly with Lopetegui at, at the hound. The team needed a little bit of a kick on the backside. It, look, it does look slim, of course yeah. it does. But you've got Kalai just coming back, you've got Fabio mm. uh, potentially coming back. Obviously, you know, if, if he stays on it, it's a big question mark. But you've got players coming back into this squad as well. There's a, it, there should be a little bit more, more optimism, but I can understand why fans are frustrated at the, the slow business. But it also shouldn't be a surprise. Uh, been a few behind closed doors friendly so far. Tomorrow we get to see them for the first time. We will be there. Um, of course, fans can go as well to the yeah. game. It's Wolves against Porto. What are you looking to see? What are you looking to see from certain types of players, from, from systems? Um, I guess Fabio Silva, like you just mentioned there, is going to be very interesting to see how he does. Sasha Kalaidic to see how he does. These are the kind of players, of course, goals were the issue last year, that we'll need to have a good look at and see how fit they are and how committed they are to the cause, because that's obviously an area that needs to be improved if one or two aren't working out. Yeah, absolutely. Kalaidic only just come back and played his first minutes against uh, Blackpool at Compton uh, last week, didn't he? So it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, I don't think you can necessarily count on him right at the beginning of the season. You need to be a little bit patient with him. Um, but Wolves, as you say, need goals. Whether that's Fabio, whether that's bringing a striker in. With Raul going, could they could they start the season with those three strikers if they're all committed to staying? Yes, I think they could. Would they potentially need to make an addition regardless of Fabio staying? Again, there's a good argument to say they probably do. So With Real um, and Costa and at, Diego Costa. Exactly. And particularly out, out, out wide, you need to make additions there. You know, Pedence isn't, isn't here, as I say, likely to go. Giles can play further forward. Again, not here, likely to go. You've got Neto, you've got Sarabia, you've got Huang. Yeah. Chiquinho's on loan. That's about it, really, isn't mm -hmm. it? So uh, wide forward is a really key thing. It, it's for numbers, goals and assists there, a, a real key component. And what I'm looking to see, really, for Wolves is, I don't think you can read loads into it because they played really well in pre-season last, last summer in Spain and we saw how the season panned out but you should be able to pick up on the nuances how the, how the system is setting up how certain players are utilised and I would like to think Wolves are going to have a bit more of a different identity a bit more <laughs> possession based um, and I would like to think more dangerous going forward Lopetegui had a plan in place to keep Wolves in the, in, in the league yeah. when he came in yeah. and he achieved that I think he's now got the scope to try and build his own uh, identity with the squad um, and we'll be bringing it to you all week. We are going to have plenty of stuff out. We've got, obviously, player interviews, features, breaking news, transfer news. We'll be asking the questions. Uh, coverage, of course, tomorrow against Porto. Saturday against Celtic in Dublin. Okay. It's exciting, mate. He's excited. He's thinking about the Guinness. That's what he's thinking about. <laughs> Definitely. Um, and, of course, the return of the Wolves potty. But it's going to be a really busy week. And hopefully, uh, make sure you keep here at expressandstar.com. Would you like an ice cream? Do you want to choose? Do you want to get one now? You want, to have, you want the shirt, don't you? Please don't. You want the shirt? Oh, my word.